Right, so this is uh, video tutorial number six and we're going to create our navigation bar and we're putting it into our shell that we've already created. You'll notice that mine's changed from the previous tute um, because I had to redo the video. So that's why this picture looks different. Don't panic, it's okay. And we need to insert um, an active I'm just going to let the crosshairs line up and I'm going to make it 700 by 100 so where are we that's 100 I measure oh no it's 50 because the buttons are 50 so that's about right once that's there we're going to go insert oops image object navigation bar and this insert navigation bar dialog box comes up. Our first element or button is home. So we just type home and we need to just browse to select our up, over and down state images. And we could easily just type home up dot HTML or we could go over and we can you know, browse to the file where we've kept our images which is here and we're up to over so I'm going to double click that and we're going to go browse for the down image and double click okay we don't have an over while down we need alternate text for our vision impaired friends and we're just going to say um, home button. When clicked and we type here, go to index because every home page is called index HTML. Our navigation bar is going to be horizontal. That means we're going across the page. However, you could do it vertically, but if you do it vertically, just make sure your app div is vertical. Okay, so we have four buttons. We need to add four nav bar elements or navigation bar elements so I'm going to click plus and our second element was products and we click browse and we go products up double click browse for the over image products over so we double click that and the down image and products down now I'm just going to check my home. I'm just going to make this match up because obviously I've written the wrong thing there. Images slash home over dot JPEG. Sorry, home up. Okay, so some people like to type. So if you know the f format that you have to type it in, you could do that. Otherwise, just browse and double click. So we're up to products. We need to add another one. I'm just going to click there. So we finish this one, um, products page, and when clicked, go to products.html. Oops. Then we're going to add our policy page, up image, browse, double click, browse. Policy over, double click, and then browse, policy down, double click. Um, alternate text, policy page, when clicked to go to policy.html. It doesn't even matter that we haven't created these pages yet, but we need to tell it in advance that that's the page it's going to go to. Um, when clicked to go to URL in main windows so it's just going to open up over the top of um, the, the home page and you can click there oh yeah um, other there are other options um, later on um, we need to add our contact us page contact 
us. Browse. Contact up. Mm -hmm. um, we can double click that. Browse. Contact over. We double click that. And down image. Browse. Contact down. Alternate text. Contact us page. And when clicked, go to contact.ht. Oops html now that's our four buttons home products policy contact us uh, most websites have an about page so if you're really keen you can add an about page but that means that you need to have sorted all of that out before you create create your buttons otherwise your buttons will be too big or, or you know uh, too big for the space or you need five buttons if you're going to have about and that means you need to divide 700 by 5 and make each button 140 at the moment our buttons are 175 because 700 divides into um, divides by 4 um, as 175 okay there you go now if you mix up the order you can change the order there so if I'm on purple there and I want to move that up to here, I would click that button, but I've entered them in the order I want them. Okay, so I've just clicked OK and yay, there is our beautiful navigation system. And if you, you can check in live view just here and this kind of shows what the website will look like once it's a real website so I can click and you can see that it changes somewhat now it's not a hundred percent identical but it gives you an idea of how it's going to look so I'm going to click out of live view and you'll notice the asterisk it means that I have not saved yet so I'm going to save luckily there are no problems and I'm going to now um, finish this tutorial and the following tutorial will show you how to add a footer at the bottom of your page uh, which has the links to all these pages and the, um, the credit for the website so if you employ a company to design the website those details will be there okay 